Okay, so let's just go ahead and start. I wanna just warm up with some quick hammer curls here. You don't need weights, okay? You can just use without, but I just wanna get those joints moving, get my heart rate up before we do our dedicated cardio. Nice deep breaths. And of course you can switch to um, rotating biceps curls or just straight biceps curls. And I'm just kind of moving my feet around too. I just wanna keep it moving. Just starting to sidestep a little bit here. Take a nice deep breath. Enjoying the uh, lovely weather we're having. Okay, just getting it moving, taking bigger steps. Take it slow. Of course, you can use heavier weights or you can go ahead and advance onto faster cardio, either with jumping jacks or jump squats, whatever you want to do. And you start dancing. Go ahead and put one foot behind. So we're letting the hips rotate a little bit here, letting those arms really start moving. Deep breaths. Go ahead and Step to the front now. Keep those knees slightly bent, okay? You don't wanna lock up the knees. Deep, deep breaths. Arms are starting to feel it, shoulders are feeling it. Good, one to the front, one to the back. Keep those arms moving. Of course, you can start doing an overhead too, if you'd like. Coordination, switch feet, one to the back and one to the front. Nice deep breaths. A little bit more. Oops, doing something. Good, go ahead and just march in place now and get those arms moving. Really wanna get range of motion here on those shoulders. So none of this little stuff, big steps. You can ditch your weights if you have to. Deep breaths. You can bring those knees up higher if you'd like. Deep, deep breaths, keeping that core active. Good, go ahead and slow her down. Let's just do some crosses in the front here. Getting those chest muscles working a little bit. I'm alternating which hand goes in front now. And just keep it moving. Keep your back active too. So when you go open here, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then you're squeezing your chest muscles together. Keeping up that heart rate, keeping those knees bent. Keep your butt and your belly active. Of course, you can do some flies if you'd like. You can do whatever you like. If this hurts your shoulder, just do it low. Come on, camera, what's going on? Keep it going, everybody. Oh, no, I see it. So you can walk towards it. Okay. Go ahead and switch to the back now. I can definitely feel my chest muscles starting to work now. And my back. Of course, you can do bigger if you like. You can do this without weights. You'll feel it without the weights. Good. Let's go ahead and bring those hands down. We're gonna go lower now. Come on, camera. Let me uh, move the ship of dreams here. Okay. Hang on. Keep sidestepping. Keep your heart rate up. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna stay kind of low now. We're gonna keep those arms moving though, just in a nice little squat here, right? Straight back, straight as you can make it, keeping those arms grooving. Of course, you can do a row every time too, get your back activated. You can do bigger steps if you want additional challenge. Nice deep breaths. I'm just stepping kind of to the back, right? You can go ahead and step to the front if you like. Definitely feeling this in between my shoulder blades, especially when I come up like this. Definitely want to feel that there. Go ahead and come on up and just do what you like. Okay. Just keeping the blood flowing. You should be getting a little bit warm now, I hope. Let's go ahead and do some modified jumping jacks. We're just going to step out and go into a T. Okay. Keep going. So just alternating sides. Of course, you can do standard jumping jacks if you'd like. You can ditch the weights if you'd like. You can just do bicep curl if you like, wherever you want to do. Just keep it breathing. That's not an option. Nice deep breaths. A few more. My shoulders are feeling it today. A few more. Good. Let's go ahead and just march in place. Keep those arms right in front. Ooh, and we're going to lower that heart rate down. Deep breaths. I am picking up my feet. Okay, shifting my weight. <clears throat> nice deep breaths. Go ahead and let your arms come down. Keep marching in place. Little steps, just balancing, getting that fluid moving in the ankles and the knees. Good. And go ahead and just relax the feet. You're just going to move the knees. You're going to keep going without lifting up your feet. Just slowing down that heart rate. Good. All right. Nice deep breath. Man, grab a drink of water. Okay, we're gonna keep our light weights for the day. And I'm gonna do some stuff in the chair today. Okay, I don't know about any of y'all, but this weather is uh, normally on the arthritis. I knew it was gonna snow before it started snowing. It's because of my ankle. All right. Try not to uh, damage the ship over there, you know. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to open up our knees nice and wide, okay? So my feet are right below my knees here, and I'm just going to go ahead and bring these hands right outside my hips here, and I'm going to do a hammer curl and an overhead press. Now, if you have a shoulder injury or if that's too much for your shoulder, I recommend just doing it without weights, okay? Because we want to just use the strength of the shoulders to lift the arms because your arms to an injured shoulder are heavy enough okay so you're going to bring them up keeping those shoulders as level as you can you're going to go all the way up nice and slow keep your neck nice and long and see if you can't get your hands right next to your ears with your elbows straight okay and down and repeat don't let them drop down right so when we come down don't let them drop or swing down be nice and gentle nice and smooth Nice deep breaths. I'm pushing my feet into the floor, holding my core towards my spine. I'm actually kind of sticking out my butt just a little bit, so I'm going to readjust so that my back is nice and straight instead. Okay. I'm just going to do a few more of these. Make sure that you're engaging your back, your upper back. Keep the shoulder blades supporting the shoulders. Good, last one. 
Yes. All right, go ahead and shake out those shoulders a little bit. Let's rotate those palms forward. Okay, so palms are facing forward and I'm just gonna do straight up biceps curls, okay? So the only thing that's moving here is the forearm, okay? So we're using these muscles right here to bend the arm. Still sitting up nice and tall. Deep, deep breaths. My shoulders are very stiff today, shoulders and my neck, probably because of the weather. So I'm actually feeling this when I do these. I'm very, I'm so tight in my shoulder that I'm kind of pulling it in a weird way so it's kind of popping when I do my biceps curls. If that's happening to you, what I recommend is just doing them in a smaller range of motion. Okay, just to get the, the belly of that muscle firing so we don't extend the tendons all the way. That'll help take some pressure off those tendons. <sighs> Deep breaths. Yeah, that's really popping. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this without weights. That doesn't mean I'm not working, so I'm imagining that I'm lifting something heavy, really resisting, keeping engaged the whole time. This sounds harder, actually. So try that if you'd like. And of course, if you rotate outwards like this, so if you're here and you rotate outwards, you're gonna work a little bit of a different part of the muscle. You can also kind of do it like this, okay, to help get the medial part of that muscle. Good, and go ahead and relax. Just put those hands, oh, at your side and stretch out those shoulders, that feels good. Stretch them out. I'm gonna ask someone to come over and rub my shoulders for me. That's not gonna happen. All right. What I'm gonna do now is some triceps extensions. I'll show you a couple different ways to work the triceps if you've got a shoulder injury. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the flat edges together of your weights, best that you can. You're gonna bring them right overhead, nice and easy. And you're gonna try not to open your elbows, okay? Try to get those elbows facing forward, and you're just gonna extend the lower arm. So your upper arm, really doesn't move, okay? Really doesn't move too much. If that's too much for your shoulders, what you can do is kind of lean off of your chair a little bit, all right? Nice straight back, and you're just gonna pull those elbows up and back and together and extend those arms to the back. Just watch your chair, try not to hit your chair. All right, so you're gonna do some of those. So at the side, okay, it looks like this, okay, with both arms. There we go. All right, so really starting to work the triceps here. I'm going to do these. Remember, ask questions. If neither of those work for you, let me know. I'll give you another alternative. Of course, my ponytail always gets in the way with these. <laughs> you think I would learn. Deep breaths. Try to get those elbows facing forward. A few more. Good. And bring them down nice and slow. Go ahead and stretch out your head just a little bit. Relax those shoulders. Ooh. Get those neck muscles. All right, so we're going to work the tops of the shoulders a little bit more today. So let's go ahead and stretch them out before we do that. I'm just going to put my hands behind my back, right above my butt, and just kind of puff out my chest, shoulders down and back. Not 100% engaged. You won't need to. Just take a nice stretch and try to relax the shoulders. Using the hands as your anchor point and breathing. You should feel this right in here. Maybe in here in the chest as well. If you tend to have a kyphotic posture, it's very common as we get older, it's that kind of hunched position here, right? When your back starts to round and your chest starts to close up, it's very important that you do exercises like this to help strengthen the back and stretch the chest. It's very important for respiratory health too. <sighs> Creating space in the rib cage. Good. 
and go ahead and release nice and slow. So again, you don't need to use weights for this, or you can use very light weights, like a can of soup will work really well. It's just about a pound, okay? Just gonna hold those weights right at your side. You're gonna come out to a T, and you're gonna hold. That's new, uh-huh. If that's too high for you, just lower down. You can even just, right here is fine. You'll probably already feel this, okay? Hold to here. Don't let the wrists flex. And you're gonna go up a tiny bit more, and then down nice and slow. Relax for a moment. We're gonna do that a few more times. You don't need weights to do this. So, up, hold. Static exercise. Nice deep breath. Up a tiny bit more, Woo. and down. Goodness, everybody, my shoulders have gotten weak. And you're gonna come up, hold. Try not to lock the elbows. Holding, up, deep breath, and down. Oh, let's do two more of those. Deep breath, and up. Try to make sure those elbows, those shoulders are even, nice straight line all the way across. And up a little more, and down. Let's change it up a little bit. You're gonna rotate those palms forward. Okay, so when you come up, your weights are upright. Same thing. And nice second position. All right, open, hold, squeeze your back. Ha! My tech support over here is giving me a dirty look. Hey, you come try it, buddy, pal. Come on up and down nice and slow. One more. We got this. Again, height is not important. Weight is not important. Okay, so if you're down to here on both sides, good. Just keep your arms even. Here. Whoo! And up and down, nice and slow. Good. Set those weights down for a minute. And let's just cross our arms and just massage those shoulders just a little bit. Just stretch the neck. Ooh, that was something. I just made that up. That's evil. I'm feeling that all the way into my neck. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and find your way back up. Grab some water. We'll do one more exercise for the upper back and the arms, okay? We're gonna do a row. Now, I'm actually gonna have you use your chair, something a little bit different. If you don't like to use your chair and you're more comfortable doing this like in a squat position, that's up to you. But I think using the chair takes a lot of pressure off of the lower back, which is, the main complaint on this one is that it uses a lot of low back to stand like this on both feet. So you're just putting your knee up on one on the chair and your other foot's kind of hanging off, okay? And you're gonna take the weight that's away from the chair. You're gonna bring it all the way up to the armpit, squeezing the heck out of that shoulder blade and extending the arm back, back to the armpit and down. Now, when you come down, don't bring your upper body down. I don't want to see your back. I only want to see the side of your body, okay? Just go ahead and do a few of those. Make sure you're not locking this standing knee. If the chair's not working for you, just do it in a small squat, okay? Knees bent, hips are back, and you bring them up, and extend to the back, okay? Those of you using a chair, go ahead and do a dozen on each side. No, I'm kidding. Do uh, do a dozen on each side twice. Yeah. Being mean. So if you're standing up like I am here, we're not allowing the back to do this. We're staying nice and tall in the upper back. You may have to imagine that you're puffing out the chest. Kind of like you're skiing, right? Feel very uneven on both my arms. Try to keep them as even as possible. Let's go ahead and do uh, six more. Should give everybody enough time to finish their sets. Breathing. I'm gonna do my last one. 
and relax. Squeeze your butt and your belly to come on up. Whew. Take a break. That's a lot of low back. Hi, little rodent. All right. Grab some water. I feel like my hamster is making a lot of noise right now. She only comes out when I'm teaching, of course. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn your chair in such an orientation that you have plenty of room behind it to move. Okay. And I'm going to grab my uh, extra light resistance band here. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. Just do the exercises without. Now, I've seen people use like old, uh, old nylons, old tights, a big old stretchy tube sock. Just tie it in a knot. As long as it doesn't dig into your skin, you're golden. Okay. So I'm going to stand on my better balance side to start. Okay. So just using the chair if I need to, nice and tall through the body. Knees are soft, slightly bent, standing up tall. You're going to shift your weight. I'm shifting to my left. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and balance on that side best you can. So this leg is free to move. And you're going to extend that leg to the back. Okay. Now try not to do the chicken. Okay. We don't want to move the upper body. We don't want to do anything with the upper body. We're going to try to keep it tall, keep the hips in the same alignment, which means your leg's not going to go very high. In order to get my leg really high up, number one, I have to rotate outwards and I have to compensate with my upper body and the hips. Nope. Just trying to get the booty. Okay. So I'm actually going to put this around my knees. That's up to you where you want to put this. Come out. Okay, so we're standing and we're just kicking back. Now you'll notice if you're going to take a video of me, the only thing that's moving here is my leg, my moving leg. This butt cheek is engaging to holy heaven. Okay, you can try to balance if you want or you can use your chair. Don't let your hips tilt. Squeeze that butt. Couple more on this side. Good, hand switch. One thing that my body tends to do because I'm so used to ballet is when I bring that leg to the back, <laughs> my medius takes over rather than my maximus. And what happens is my leg opens out like that. Try not to do that. Try to stay parallel with your toes. Might be a lot easier on one side than the other. Okay, remember, there's not much range of motion on this one. Okay, you might feel it a little bit in your low back, and that's all right. Stay as tall as you can. You might feel it in the hamstrings as well. Okay, a couple more. Your standing leg should be working just as hard, if not harder, than your moving leg. A few more. Good, one more. Whew, and relax, go ahead and take a stretch. Soft knees, just laying it down. Nice deep breaths. All right. So we worked the gluteus maximus. Now we want to work the medius. So now, ignore everything from earlier. You're still going to keep your hips aligned, but now you're going to go ahead and let your toes open to the side deliberately. Okay. Try to keep your front toes facing forward. If you have to rotate them out just a little bit, that's fine. Just make sure the rotation comes from the hip, not the knee or the ankle. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of be in this L shape, right? This little L shape where we lift that leg. So one hip is going to, hips are still square, while my leg is rotated out to the side. Again, this is pretty tough. You can feel this right here. And the range of motion is not very much. Okay. Of course, you can practice your balance if you like, however you want to do it. Don't lock either of your knees. You're thinking up and out of that hip. Whew. 
Oh, my butt. A couple more. Woo, and other side. Ah, I am evil. All right, other side. Again, you'll notice it's really hard to keep your hips square. You may even have to kind of put your hands right on your on your butt in your front here, and you'll feel when your hips start to rotate forward. It's really tough. Really working that medius. Ladies, it's very important that you keep this medius strong because this is a huge stabilizer muscle for your hips, especially for ladies. Okay. Ha ha ha, couple more. Up, up, up. Good, and last one, stretch it out. Nice deep breaths. Let those knees be slightly bent. Ooh. Deep breaths. A few more seconds. And come on up nice and slow. All right, let's work the tens tensor fascia lata, which is on the side of this leg here. If you have IT band syndrome, I really recommend not using a band or taking this motion very, very small. And we're gonna stretch afterwards too. So you can of course use your chair, but now we're gonna stand sideways, okay? And I'm gonna shift my weight to one side. That doesn't mean I'm gonna shift and sit in one hip, right? So yeah, now I can bend this leg. I can move this leg, but it's bent. I want both legs straight. I want to be standing entirely over one leg. Okay? So I don't want to be sitting. You can see that my, my hip joint is here. It's not in line. It should be here. It should be in line with the knee and the ankle. So we want to make sure that it's as in line as we can get it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, and we're just gonna open that leg out to the side without turning the hips, okay? Without rotating the leg. And of course, practice your balance. Up, 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 holding the core. Okay, a few more of these. Again, if you have IT band syndrome, do it small. You don't have to go high up. And everybody's hips are different. My hips can go fairly high out to the side without my hip angle changing. Yours may not be able to do that. I have an advantage, an unfair advantage. Keep your core active, a few more. Good, last one. And slowly switch to the other side. Of course, you can use your chair as support. Hook, cramp, keep going. Nice and tall. Standing over that leg, holding belly. And you do whatever you want with your arms, okay? Hips is good, then you can feel, ooh, then you can feel when your hips are uneven. Yeah, there we go. Toes forward. Deep breaths. Couple more. Good. And bend those knees, butt back, take a break. Ooh, legs tired. My butt and my legs are tired. I am too. All right. I'm gonna do a quick calf exercise and then we're gonna get to core. All right, plenty of time. So I'm going to use my squishy foam, okay? If you have like um, something like this or a big old heavy book, uh, something sturdy that's not gonna break, steps will work really well as long as you're nice and safe. 
Okay, we're going to increase the difficulties of our calf presses today. So what I'm going to do is just set this down right in front of my chair. And I'm going to stand up on it. Put this around my ankles. Okay, just get a little bit of tension out of that. Again, if you don't have any of this equipment, you don't need it. You can just do the exercise without, okay? So just let my heels hang off, and I'm going to try to steady my hips. So because this, because I'm standing on the phone, my butt's going to want to stick out. Your hips are going to want to compensate probably. Okay, so you're going to try to stand nice and tall, and you'll instantly probably lock up the knees. Don't lock the knees. Hold the core. Hold that belly in nice and tall. Shift your weight to the ball of the foot and try to press all the way up. And then come all the way down. That is tough. And try to balance. Use your wall or your chair if you need it. I have a ceiling here I can cheat. <laughs> and you don't know, you can't tell. If the balance work is too much, just use your chair. And breathe. Okay. You should feel, now most of you, I, I know that you know me well enough by now, most of you make sure that you're not doing this, right, rolling the ankles to the outside. I tend to do the opposite, so it's not as common as you roll the ankles to the inside. Don't do that either. Keep nice and even, okay, like Barbie. The feet are like straight down, okay. She has other problems. She has nice feet. All the way up. Spread out your toes. Don't crunch them up. Spread out the surface area to maximize volume. Uh, volume. Surface area. Surface area cubed is volume. It's different. I see breaths. Hold the belly. Now, if you have a band around your ankles, uh, I do this sometimes because my ankles tend to come inwards, and this forces me to stabilize and keep them even. So if you have a, uh, ooh, if you have like a foam ball, you tend to, if you tend to roll your ankles outwards, you can get like one of those inflatable medicine balls or like a big foam ball, and you can put it in between your ankles so that when you go up, you have to kind of squeeze just a little bit, and that will prevent you from rotating or rolling outwards. Go ahead and finish your last one. And go ahead and just stretch it out. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick little lunge stretch here. So for those of you that were in the uh, my 10 o'clock stretching class, thank you for joining. I really recommend for those of you who are in this class, um, the 10 o'clock class on Wednesdays would be great because it's a nice kind of early day uh, stretch, nice warm up for you. So if you're really tense and tight for this class or need more stretching, really recommend taking that class as well. I promise I'm nicer than that one. Go ahead and step on out. Do the other side. And I don't feel it on this side. That's funny. Try not to lock your knee. Huh. Keep going on that second side. Nice deep breaths. All right. Let's go ahead and do some core. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because I know a lot of people don't have a ball. Actually, it'd be very helpful for me if you, if everybody kind of tells me if they have one or not or what kind of setup they've got. Um, because it helps me modify. So if you're comfortable with that, go ahead and either in the chat or, or just shout it out, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to be doing some sit-ups on the ball. 
You can also, if you have a really sturdy um, anchor point for a stretch band, no ball. Okay. If you if you have a stir if you have a stretch band, that's another thing you might have to have. You can lace it around. I'll try to show you this without showing you too much mess. You can lace it around, yeah, like a desk like this. Okay. And make a knot like that. We have one ball, no ball, have everything else. Okay. All right, so for those of you who are comfortable, I'm gonna show three different things. No ball, no anchor. Okay, um, if you're comfortable getting on the chair, I'm sorry, on the floor, you can do that. Um, I gotta think of some other ways, some easier ways to work the core without getting down on the ground or with limited equipment. Also, if anybody's interested, these bands, uh, I got on Amazon, there's like six of them in a bag for, I think they're about 15 bucks. They're a good investment, they're very versatile. All right, so I recommend this kind of stretch band. I'll show the anchor version first. Thank you for being patient, everyone. I know we're, I'm trying to please everyone and so I can include everyone, which is always tricky. So if you're using the anchor point, you wanna make sure that we are standing perpendicular to the, to the stretch band here, okay? So this is my, my x-axis, okay, and I am making the y-axis, so I want to be perpendicular. We're just going to soft knees and just going to hang on to this band, get some tension. Don't move your body at all, except your arms. You're instantly going to feel that in your belly and your low back. So if you're doing that, go ahead and do 20 on each side. If you have a ball, you're going to sit on it. Let your butt hang off. Relax your head, and you're gonna come down, curve your back nice and slow over the ball, anchor those feet, and you're gonna do a nice clean little sit up. Oops, I'm sliding. Nice clean little sit up, okay? If you are on the floor, if you are on the floor, please stand by. Uh, you could also, I guess you could put a yoga mat on your coffee table. I've seen people do that. And just make sure it's going to hold your weight and don't use glass. I know that seems self-explanatory, but I've seen that too, okay? So if you're laying down on your surface, just go ahead and lay nice and flat on your back. Bring your legs up 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees to the floor. Arms up overhead. Tuck your chin, and you're just going to kind of peel up one vertebra at a time and breathe every time. Actually, I think that one's pretty hard. Go ahead and everybody, I want you to do 20, if you're doing the, the, the anchor band, 20 on each side. Everybody else, I want you to do two sets of 20 of the other ones, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and use my ball. So if I didn't cover the uh, equipment that you have or you're still not sure, please don't be shy. Let me know. Absolutely let me know. And actually, no. Powering off. Oh, that's not what I want. Hang on. Powering on. Okay, yep. You are free to Ask questions if you need. And finish your set at your own your own speed, your own pace. Just keep it breathing. This ball is from uh, is this is from Walmart. This ball yeah. was it ten bucks or something? Yeah, yeah like ten bucks. You should be able to get it online as well. It's a good thing to have. I've also seen people use an ottoman before, by the way. If you have like a kind of a firm ottoman, you can brace yourself up against that and use an ottoman for, for your elevated sit-ups. Finish those sets. Maybe a little bit longer.
pretty sad. Oh, these are very difficult for me now. Couple more. And relax. Finish your sets. Stretch it out. Take a breath. Oh, this ball is a nice stretch for my back and my belly. All right. We got just over five minutes left, so I'm going to spend doing some stretches. So let's grab your stick if you have one. If you have a towel, that'll work. If you have nothing, that'll work too. Come on. There we go. We're going to stand for this one. All right, so let's just go ahead. Yeah, those are all the books that I have not read yet somehow. Okay, there's a duplicate bookshelf over here too. Hands all the way to the sides as far as you can get them. Without the stick, you're gonna just do the same motions. Just create a little bit of length and ten tension in the arms. And you're gonna bring these up. Arms right beside the ears and back down. Let's do that eight times. Breathing every time. It's four. Last one. And relax. Go ahead now and you're just gonna, again, if you don't have a, a bar, just do some loosening up, let the arms swing, rotate your body, don't lock the knees. Otherwise, you're just gonna do this. I actually recommend slightly bending the knees and that'll help prevent twisting in the knee. Washing machine. You'll see that my hips are not moving. Okay, so you are not rotating the hips. You are only rotating at the rib cage. At the waist. Good. Go ahead now. You're going to bring this all the way up. With bent elbows, we're going to do this six times. You're going to bring it down across the back of your shoulders. Just up and over. That's one. And two. Nice and slow. If you don't have a bar, just keep doing these motions best that you can. Three. Four. Five. And last one, six. Go ahead and hold there and just breathe. Try to let your shoulders relax. Ooh, here's a tricky one for you. If you're comfortable doing so, please watch before you do, because this can be pretty intense. You're gonna keep your hands and your shoulders where they're at, soft knees, and you're gonna hinge forward. Oh yeah. Try to drop your head. This is a tricky one. Soft knees. Keep breathing. Come all the way up. Let's bring those arms straight up overhead. Loosen up the head a little bit. Oh, go ahead and just tilt. Tilt and turn a little. Head is heavy. And if you're able, you're going to come all the way up and back around. Now, you should keep this bar as even as possible, OK? as even as you can. You're going to get to a point like right here where it's really going to stick. It's going to be really tough. So if you have to, bend your elbows, but try to relax, okay? You can ditch the bar if you need to. This is not an easy stretch, so take it nice and slow. Again, just do one at a time. If you have to, you can wash a window. That's a good way to do it. Just make sure you're trying to get your arm behind your body.
Good, last one. Go ahead and ditch this. And we're going to go ahead and just stretch the lower body and the back one more time. Again, you can use your, uh, your chair if you need to. Okay, so I'm just going to do this uh, without. Just start here on my knees. Okay, and just inch my way down. Knees are slightly bent. Hey, knees are slightly bent. Don't lock the knees. Ooh, and just relaxing, spreading out the toes. When you are ready, release the tension from the shoulders and drop your head. Keep breathing. You may only be able to get to right here, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Do what you can do. And if you are able, you can put your hands on the floor. Or hold your hands behind your ankle. And you're going to lift your head, deep breath. All the way up, exhale. And go ahead and stay standing. Okay. Just going to reach your arms up overhead and flop them back down. Okay, just do some nice swan arms. If you can only go to here, that's great. Just some little swans. Or if you live near a golf course near me, lots of geese. Okay. Honk. Okay, just nice swan arms. Just some relaxed. Okay. And big swan. Even bigger swan. And relax. Well done, everybody. Thank you.